Ciao ragazzi, sono Shane Maneri e vengo da New York e, e voglio dire um, ti mando un abbraccio, ti mando un abbraccio forte durante questo periodo difficile in Italia, non è che è dappertutto adesso, ma noi abbiamo poesie uh, per... Uh, per salutare, non so. Comunque, um, I will speak in English now. Um, I am going to read three poems for you per um, Bologna in lettere. And, um, and uh, yeah, so here we go. In my father's place. Climb up the tree, he said, his hard breath behind me the smell of wet wood on the palms of, his hand, of my hands as I grab the rungs to the top of the tree stand, taking heed, learning how to adjust to my father's hunting game. Sit still, he said, silence, except for the doves. I try to make myself more like my father, more hungry. Who shall say I'm not? Shh, he whispered. And then the majestic thing, up out of the green briar. Red eyes, velvet antlers, a six-pointer spiked buck, his tufted horns dappling in the early morning haze as he slips through the woods like a cat in fog. I mount my double barrel 410 against the railing. He doesn't notice. I hold my breath, cross her limbs exact. I pull the kill trigger. The buck keels over and lets out a loud moan, a deer scream, a noise I've never heard before, that my father never heard before. And he kicks and kicks the air. Lake Ponch Train. Two rusty-faced pelicans, flaxen wash on crowns, eyes on fire, glide low, rowing the surface of the lake as if psycho pumps, circling, circling. Their enormous beaks, long as poles, guide their amphibious bodies over the brackish and wide water. As I cross the stretch of bridge we used to cross, your ashes in the back seat sealed in a rosewood urn. The lake seems different, upside down, gray sky, a silver hammered aluminum sheet, smudged, shaking, with orchid blue wounds, and the clouds roll in, forming a shadow of a child dragging a blanket. I hugged your cold body. Then one pelican nose dives, shattering the surface of the lake. An arrow fletching toward its own image, then gone. Heart to heart. A blind musk deer sits alone in a withering garden, padding around the azalea bush, eating root rot marking his territory, sizing up his does, fucking them one by one. This went on for 15 years, the roaring, rutting, tearing at the bark with his horns, until one day at the end of a season, they found my father dead, my mother's canines glistening in his thick-headed skull, pink azalea blossoms caked to his lolling tongue. As Rothke said, Will the heart eat the heart?